cuties it's your girl tana too cute and look we are continuing our breakdown of the first episode of sisters look let's get into more of the investigations y'all but look show your girl some support like this video hit subscribe and let's get into it okay i feel good wait a minute who are you Okay, so next up, we have Gary's assistant, uh, Cole Per, whoever he is, Hudson, y'all. So he's in, you know, in the interrogation room. And y'all, the first thing that really just stood out to me, I don't know why this never stood out to me before, but his hairstyle. Have y'all, do, what, do y'all like the hairstyle? Why haven't I noticed this? on him before was it always in in a ponytail or pushback or has he had it down before is this just something i just really did not pay any attention to anywho that stood out to me first but getting you know to the investigation the questioning i felt that his you know interrogation the way he answered his question was very phony y'all i mean he was talking about gary was his best friend the brother that he never had before it all felt just phony fake and weird if you ask me in my opinion okay so you know from because from what we saw or from what i saw gary talked to him like he you know didn't have any respect for him you know he to me now what do y'all think let me know if you felt that they were best friend vibes okay now the investigator was like you know whatever kind of when you know to his responses like he didn't really believe it either um because he he mentioned that hey we was this close to nailing gary you know with the, his his fraudulent head funds you know so i don't think the investigator was really buying you know the best friend you know act or whatever um so now if the FBI was on to Gary and Hudson knew about it or had, you know, some indication that he was about to, you know, be brought down, maybe, and Hudson along with that, maybe Hudson had a reason to off Gary, okay? But Hudson, you know, he went right into throwing your girl Andy under the bus. And when I tell you he threw her under the bus, threw her under the bus and then ran it over and put it in reverse and bagged up on her okay i mean he called andy crusty greedy i mean the worst thing that ever happened to gary a gold digger i mean the list goes on and on now he wrong for that y'all um but anywho anything to save his tail right um, he, he, he also mentioned that because the investigator was like, well, Andy is this successful attorney. She don't really need Gary's money, right? So Hudson had to check that real quick and was like, look, all of those gifts and, and money that Gary gave her was like small. Her, her salary, salary was like small potatoes, baby. Just really totally undermined her position. Um, I mean, he goes on and called her. Here we go again with the slutty, the sleazy, um, you know, descriptions of your girl, Andy. You know, that was my least favorite um interrogation because Hudson really threw your girl under the under the bus so now this is why I want to bring up about Gary the the miscommunication right so the investigators you know got everybody thinking that Gary is gone y'all but in actuality Gary he did flatline, but the doctors brought him back to life, okay? So here's my question. How did the investigators know that he flatlined 
if the doctors were back there in that moment trying to bring him back to life? Did they stop, you know, trying to bring him back to life and, and, and pause and tell the investigators, hey, he dead, he flatlining right now. Uh, let, let me tell the investigators. No, so I don't, that wasn't a really good transition there. But yeah, everybody was thinking that he was still alive. But the, you know, the detectives told him that Gary was, you know, gone out of here. But when he told Hudson that Gary was gone, Hudson wanted to just, you know, I don't know how to even describe it. It just was all weird and fake. So, my least favorite interview, y'all, um, with your boy Hudson. So, y'all let me know. What are your thoughts about this interrogation with Hudson? Do y'all think he had something to do with the attempt on your boy Gary? Um, was his interview phony, fake, and a weird uh, y'all let me know down in the comments and look y'all like up this video hit subscribe oh and stay tuned for the next video and look y'all have a good day on purpose bye